Hello, hello, welcome back, welcome back um, to our next stage of um, our painting, our um, goat. And um, as you can see, um, while we were, I was off on camera, um, in between stages, I was able just to get some finite touches done. Or just get some, like, you know, finished touches done. I wouldn't say finite. Um, it's not going to be that one of those really tight um, photorealistic paintings. Like I said before in the first video, we were just approaching this very kind of a, kind of a loose arts and crafty type of painting. Um, we're, I'm going to be hanging this up in the nursery. Um, our new nursery. And... So, our birth is coming, it's a week and a half now. Um, last day of the 38 week, it'll be 39 weeks tomorrow. So, I was just right now, just kind of, before I go into the costume of the goat, which in the first video I, I was talking about doing an um, anime, um, an animal caricature, of a school teacher, an uh, English school teacher, 19th century English school teacher, and so um, we're going to be working on that today and kind of showing you where that, um, the approach to that and doing that. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm actually going to start with. showing I'm going to we're going to start here with the collar I've kind of already loosely outlined here right. he's going to be wearing a high white collar starting out like schoolmaster 19th century kind of a schoolmaster tire attire and um gonna see how that you know goes um, I really like if you look at the like romanticism if you look at the um, romanticism period English romantic um, early romanticism romanticism period of like Jane Austen if you look at if you remember any of your masterpiece theater um, films, or actually any of the movie films of Jane Austen's like Pride and Prejudice or Sense and Sensibility or um, Emma, um, the men's collar during that period were really high. And so. They're high and tied. They were like these high dicky colors. And um, that's kind of the effect I want to go for. So I'm going to start off with this kind of high dicky collar. And we're just going to kind of softly brush that in. This kind of flares out into the tie. It's going to be like this. One of those wraparound kind of dicky <laughs> tie ties. You know, kind of make it a little bit, you know, flare. Apologize for the movement of the camera. This is a handheld camera, so. So I can just really kind of zoom in. Now I talked about like the whole effect of zooming in to a our painting on the earlier stages, but how we weren't going to do anything like that as of yet. Now this is kind of the stage where you kind of want to get in your special your, your zoom in your details 
um, you know, more or less. You don't want to stay in a place for far too long because you don't want to get uh, stuck there and miss other important areas that need to be done for the painting. So you really want to keep your brush moving around the painting as a whole. Um, I mean, because when you do, we are always going to see the painting is never going to be completely finished. It's always going to be a work in process, you know, especially, I mean, even when you're at this stage. And so you're just going to, you're always going to see something that really that needs to be done. Every time I start to paint, this. I always tend to get really hot. <laughs> My temperature starts to change. So um, we're just kind of outlining the collar a little bit, adding some value to it, a little bit of value to it, looking a little bit more like a collar. And now what we're going to do. A little bit of shade to it. Like I said before. Now, what's really interesting about this is that I did a lot of, I was able just to kind of, before putting this collar on, I did a, his whole neck, um, the goat's whole neck with adding his, you know, hair and his, you know, surface of his fur in there and now <laughs> this is what the awesome the interesting interesting thing about painting is when you get to a layer to a point like this where you have to put like clothes or costumes on people or animals for that matter for this one um you have to kind of you have to go and cover it up which is you know, like oh i did all this painting you know draw you know the, the fur and the finite hairs and all that and it looks so perfect. And those are the one those are the one of the sacrifices as a painter you really have to give in because it comes a point in time where you have to do what's best for the painting, what's going, you know, or what you have to do for that the particular subject, the focal point for the painting, whether it be a human being, whether it be an animal, like, well, now it's time to put the clothes on, or, well, now it's time to put, maybe, place a log cabin in front of these beautiful trees I just painted. So, it's like, it's, it's given, it's called paint, I call it painter's sacrifice. A painter's sacrifice, which you have to get used to doing, you know, giving up that beautiful, beautiful flowers or trees that you just painted for the best of the painting. So I'm just kind of outlining this now. Collar, whatnot. And you know what? It's going to probably be um, you know, I think that's okay for right now. Because what I can do, it's at a point, that collar is at a point, you can see it. You can see that there's an indication that there's a collar there. Beneath that collar, what we're going to do is we are going to give him a, his little, his coat, his cloak, his little cloak. It's going to go underneath here. A little cloak. Brown cloak. It's going to go right underneath here. And I think I'm going to be able to touch. And it's going to be one of those. You know what? We might even go with blue because it's so. Just to kind of brighten it up a bit. Um, I might, I think I might go, I think, 
we're going to see if we can go with blue. With this uh, um, cerulean blue. And um, I'm going, yes. So it's going to be like a, a navy kind of color. And you know what? I may just go back into this. I'm going to add like a, <laughs> I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but a part, um, this is part five video, stage five. And I believe I'm going to do like a mini, like a part six. It's not going to be as long just to show you the finished project of the, the coat and, um, any fine tuning, just probably well, maybe five minutes long. So I know I said I wasn't going to do that in the beginning, but I changed my mind. <laughs> so, all right. So I look forward to seeing you guys next time. All right. Bye.